Watching Washington this morning, the future of TikTok unclear after the House passes a foreign aid bill giving funding to Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. The bill includes a measure that could ban TikTok in the U.S., but some Republican lawmakers aren't happy with the House Speaker Johnson. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos live this morning breaking down what the bill says and also those tensions in the House. Annie Rose this still has to go to the Senate, but what I am reading, it is expected to pass. So this could be a big deal, especially with the TikTok potential ban or sale. Yeah, Lauren, and there's so much in this bill, but let's break it all down for you because on Saturday, the House passed a $95 billion foreign aid bill for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, but this may come at a cost to the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, who is essentially putting his job on the line in order to advance this long stalled aid package. On this vote, the A's are 311 and the nays are 112. The bill is passed. Oh. One voting present. I missed it, but thank you. And four back-to-back -back votes, overwhelming bipartisan coalitions of lawmakers, approved fresh rounds of funding for the rigging U.S. allies. With protesters that you see here gathering outside the Capitol, inside the House passing this bill, providing $26 billion for Israel and nearly $61 billion for Ukraine alone. The Ukrainian president releasing this video message Saturday night. Everyone who supported our package. This is a life saving decision. I am grateful personally to Speaker Mike Johnson, to all American hearts who, like us in Ukraine, feel that Russian evil definitely should not prevail. I hope that the package will be considered in the U.S. Senate and submitted to President Biden's desk quickly enough. Now, these votes came at a huge political risk for Speaker Johnson, who joined with Democrats in order to advance Saturday's vote, defying a wing of his party that was very much against these measures. And then he did this in here on the House floor, foreign war package that does nothing for America. I, it, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I'm, I'm thankful that America gets to see who this man is. That was some of the immediate backlash there from hardline members of the Republican Party who are now supporting an effort to oust the Speaker of the House. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene from Georgia says she won't yet move forward with a motion to vacate for now, but adding if she does, she has secured two other Republicans willing to join the bid to oust Speaker Johnson. As I've said many times, I don't uh, walk around this building being worried about a motion to vacate. I have to do my job. We, we did. I've done here what I believe to be the right thing, and that is to allow the House to work its will. And as I've said, you do the right thing and you let the chips fall where they may. We want to get to this fourth bill in the package that also includes sanctions on Iran and a measure that could lead to a TikTok ban. This hot button bill targeting the app would ban it from U.S. app stores unless it finds a new owner and quickly. The social media company has about 170 million U.S. users and is currently owned by ByteDance, its Chinese parent company. This app is a spy balloon in Americans' phones. It is a modern day Trojan horse of the CCP. All right, this legislation will move on to the Senate where lawmakers will begin voting on it this Tuesday. If passed, TikTok will have 270 days to find a new owner. And the fact that this is in a larger foreign aid package will make it much, much harder for lawmakers to oppose this measure. Reporting live from the newsroom, we'll send it back to you in the studios, Lauren.